Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential tropical storm or Hurricane Sally and Teddy that could form in the Atlantic over the next couple days. We currently have Paulette and Renee, and Sally and Teddy are the next two names. We are getting very close to the Greek alphabet, which we may reach by the end of September. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into the models. This is intensity guidance for Invest 94L, which is the disturbance closest to the United States that may impact the Carolinas. Most model guidance has it becoming a tropical depression or not. It may just be a disorganized system and not form into a tropical depression, none of that stuff. Um, but one or two models have it reaching tropical storm status, which is possible. I do not see anything above a low-end tropical storm happening, and it may bring impacts to the Carolinas. These are some of the possible paths it could take. All these models show a landfall in South Carolina, but that could change. The system is not expected to be major and will only bring minor to moderate impacts to the Carolinas. Looking at the disturbance closest to Africa, which has the highest potential for U.S. impacts, this system is the type of system that the United States needs to watch out for. It's one of those systems that's going to go south of the Car Caribbean islands and potentially make its way into the Gulf and affect the Gulf Coast. This is what one model thinks will happen. You see Paulette over there where that L is with the 1001 above it. As we move along, you see Teddy form or Sally if 94 out doesn't form. You see Teddy or Sally form just north of S South America. And you see it approaching south of the Caribbean islands and going through Jamaica, going south of Cuba, and into the Gulf of Mexico. This is where we could have problems with United States impacts. This system could be minor, this system could be major, or this system could be nothing at all. We will have to watch this one closely though, potential Sally or Teddy for US impacts, as the system will likely be one of those systems that could reach major hurricane status. Looking further into the Gulf, you see the pressure drop to 959 millibars before making a landfall in Florida. Note, this is over 300 hours away, and this has been changing every model run. However, what is likely is that a hurricane is likely, Category 1 or above. Major hurricane cannot be ruled out by this, and with how warm the waters are and how much water the system will interact with, it will probably be a major hurricane. We cannot pinpoint where it will make landfall yet and I will make updates as we get closer. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic in degrees Celsius right now. You see the Gulf is pretty warm with 29 to 30 degree waters, and it's even warmer on the west coast of Florida with 31 to 32, and there is a patch of waters east of Florida that's 30 to 32 degrees Celsius, and another patch south of Cuba, 30 to 32 degrees Celsius. These systems, if they can get into the southern of the Caribbean islands and into the Gulf, they have a lot of energy to work with unless Shear and Jair gets in the way, which is also unlikely. Um, but these systems have jet fuel to work with. They could strengthen significantly if nothing else gets in the way of them, and the United States really needs to be on the lookout. That's the Trusted Weather Forecast for our upcoming potential Sally and or Teddy. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.